so chapter 8 part i question number 42 the principle of unlimited liability implies that so highlight the word unlimited liability unlimited means there is no limit whenever you do the business you have no limit believe me right <coughs> you will lose more money but then you invest so which one should be number one an owner of a business has a very large debt load which he cannot service number two one should never become a general partner number third an owner may lose more money than his initial investment. An investment. So that, so that's a number third, right? And then we go to from there to question number 40, 48. Yeah. Which of the following statement regarding proprietorship is false? So how the word proprietorship means ownership. Number one, proprietorship is owned by a single individual. True, right? Proprietor has limited arising. Is that right? Limited arising. It has a limited liability, basically. Mean. It means limited liability. But the liability is unlimited. That's why it's false. So write down the unlimited. Arising means liability. Sometimes we don't know English, right? <coughs> Third one, profit from the operation of proprietorship accrued to the owner. So I'll let accrue to the owner. Accrue means adds own. For example, any money you make from business, so basically it adds on for the owner, right? And the next, proprietor does not pay any income tax. That's also true. Who pays tax? Proprietor, not the business. Who pays the tax? Sir? The owner, not the ownership, right? Okay, so so the answer is number two. But when you read the the answer, read both ways, true or false, right? And then we go back to the question number. What is the question number next? Twenty-eight. Which one of the following is inconsistent with the generally accepted accounting principle? So we're gonna go to question number twenty-eight. Yes, who's gonna do it? So Scott, you read twenty-eight. Yeah. So number one, expenses are recognized at the time they are incurred. So which principle is this one? Which one is this? Matching? matching? Right? Expense is matching, right? So, so first of all, highlight the word inconsistent. Mean, it means find false. Find a false. So, number one is true, right? Assets are revalued upward to account for the effect of inflation. Inflation is about 3.5%, for example. Right? So your hundred dollar values goes down, right? Every year, right? So basically, it doesn't mean you increase the value of your car or your assets. It goes downward actually, right? Goes uh, downward. So upward makes it false. Third, physical years ends cannot be changed at a will. So highlight physical year. So physical year basically means if I pay my tax, a company's tax in the month of September, every year I pay in a September. I can't change whenever I want. Right? So that's true. Okay? Revenues are recognized at the time they are earned. Which principle is one? Revenue. Right? So this is also true. So answer is number two. And then we go from the question number 29. Yes, we go to 29 in a limited partnership. So, Scott, you're going to read now. This one. 29? Yeah. Each limited partner is personally liable for all debts that a partnership incurs. Is that right? Okay, next. A limited partner can effectively 
be engaged in managing the business without any consequence to his or her So without stuff. makes it wrong. So you are still liable to your partner. Without makes it wrong. Next. The income is taxed before it is distributed to the partners. Yeah, income is taxed after, in yes. personal, you know. It's based on your own personal. So before. And then last one. There must be one or more general partners. Yes. So partner means one or a more. So that's the one. That's number four. And then we go to the question number. Yes, four. Number four. And we go to the question number which one? Which one is next? 39? 39? 35. 35, yes. No, 30 we did already. And uh, 36 we did. 35 we did. No? No. Okay, 35. Question number 35. Current assets on the financial statement of a business include, I told you our current mean, receivable within a mm-hmm. one year. Owner's initial investment, is it a current asset? No. You know, it's not a liability even. If I start a pizza store, I put my $50,000, does it? Uh, it's not a receivable. Number two, rent payable is what's that? It's a current liability. Third, marketable securities. Market securities mean uh, easily convertible to cash. Easily convertible to cash. Like a 30 days term deposit, 60 days term deposit, up to one year, Canada saving bonds, right? Anything you can convert to cash easily. So it's number third. Okay? <coughs> Very important. And then from there on we go to question number 39. And the 39, yes, question number 39. I've told you the formula already. What's the formula for question number 39? Cost minus salvage value divided by number of years, right? And uh, so the Fannie Mac Limited purchased a small commercial building for 225,000, of which 100,000 was the value of the land. So what does depreciate? Building, building, building only. Building. So highlight 225 minus 100,000. What's the value of the building? 125. 125. So right, 125 is the cost of the building. building. Right? So cost is 125. Now we have to find the minus depreciation, right? And then Fanny the Camp Fanny, the company president, felt this was an excellent deal because she would have been willing to pay as much as 250. One year later, Fanny sold the property for 300,000. If at the time of the purchase, the expected economic life, so economic life means number of a years, highlight is economic life, 10 years. So the life is 10 years, right? So there was an estimate salvage value of 25,000. So, so then highlight the salvage value 20. 5,000. At the end of that time, and Fanny uses the straight line depreciation method. And the formula is cost minus cost is 125 minus 25,000 divided by 10. What do you find? 10,000. Right? And uh, so basically, Based on that, you, now you're going to do attempt all other sums, which I you know, wrote here on top. Right? So do all of those sums, and then we're going to go one by one. Okay?